Well, hello there, guys, and welcome back to Pick and Shot campaigns with our Gustavus Adolphus campaign. We're, of course, trying to defeat the Catholic Imperial armies here, and I certainly hope that we can do it, because we have massive armies here to contend with, and this is going to be a tough, tough fight, to put it simply. So, guys, we've done a lot of movement uh, in the last turn, and I was going to go ahead and end the turn to begin this new one, kind of see what the enemy has in store for us. Uh, don't forget, we can always zoom in and take a look at these units, if you guys want me to zoom in on a particular unit. Uh, just put that in the comments down below, and let's go ahead and see how this goes. Now, we really can only win with our residual shooting. It's that simple. We can only win if we can outshoot the enemy, because they outnumber us greatly at this point. Um, and we need to do something about all of these pikemen. But I'm really mostly concerned about our left and right flank. Here we go. More melee combat on the right side between the horses. Those guys are slashing at each other with sabers, but no one's gone down yet. Sadly, this unit was about to fragment. I'm pretty sure it will this turn. There we go. It's broken, and now the enemy horse is going to chase my guys. And that's obviously not good, because they're going to start crushing into other troops. Um, now, the enemy cuirassiers and my horsemen, pretty even there. And once again, over here on the right side, still pretty even fighting, and we've got a lot of cavalry to bring to the fight. Uh, so we want to see if we can beat them. We also don't want to lose our Finnish units like that Hakalapidia. Um, I think I'm saying that correctly, um, but maybe not. And there we go. We may be able to get rid of another commanded shot unit of the enemy. And there we go. Awesome, guys. The enemy commanded shot is broken. Our men are going to chase down those Catholic dogs and cut them a new smile. Sadly, the enemy cavalry is going right into our left flank. Um, and as you can see, our men are going to pull back, of course. Pretty good idea, I would say. And we're going to continue charging. Uh, these unfortunate commanded shot and cutting them down. Now it's actually the Catholic turn. The enemy has a chance to make some moves. Uh, they're going to open up, returning fire. You can see the actual gunfire and musket fire in this battle is tremendous. So many men with muskets on this battlefield. And despite the fact that it's not the most accurate weapon in the world, uh, when you have this many men shooting them, you're going to get some hits. All right, I like the exchange right now. These Catholics are ready for a fight. I can accept that. Very well. I like that we turned our spearmen over to the left side last turn. Uh, and I hope that we can stop that cavalry from attacking us. Alright, a lot of enemy units coming to the center, guys. And here we go. They're going to charge with another unit against our Hakapaleta. And these are guys we don't want to lose. You know, they're very, very good. Um, and there we go. Sure enough, managed to disrupt some enemy cavalry. So it's a good idea that we have some pikemen over here in this sector. We need to do something about this left flank. Oh, no! All right, our unit has actually broken one of our cavalry units over here. I think I can do something about it, though. Um, and sure enough, the enemy unit is actually winning this fight on the right flank. I really hope that we were going to do extremely well here. And now I'm not so confident. Uh, there we go. Still very indecisive. And another charge? Maybe not. As you can see, the Imperial, uh, the, the Imperials have a lot of men. Um, I did not expect them to have so many cavalry, but they actually have a lot of cavalry. Uh, sadly, they've now disrupted one of our uh, commanded shot units. It's fragmenting, and it could be in a lot of trouble. It's totally behind enemy lines, and we've got some work to do for sure. All right, let's see. It doesn't look like they're doing anything yet. Residual shooting phase. Again, this is where we shine. Looks like those cannons are going to blast off. Get some nice shots, and hopefully some beautiful volleys to send some guys running and screaming for the hills. I can only hope. All right, the melee phase. This is where bad things happen for us, especially um, especially right now. But hopefully we can hold the line at least for another turn and get our guys into an even better position here. Once again, another melee fight. Very even. Just a few guys, some gentlemanly combat between those horsemen. Sadly, now that horseman is disrupted, and that's going to be a problem. All right, come on, guys. We've got to do this. Our men are running down the commanded shot like dogs, and there's no chance they're going to escape. But at the same time, they're running down our commanded shot here on the left side, and there's no chance they're going to escape either. So it's kind of tit for tat right now. And the cavalry on our right side is just not as strong as I thought they would be. Uh, so I hope we haven't gotten in our, ourselves into a fight that we can't win. But remember, we've got a lot of chances to still come back, even if we lose this major battle. Uh, of course, this would be a huge, huge disadvantage to us in the war. All right, guys, it is our turn to fight. I'm going to first of all see if our Arquebusiers can get a nice charge into these guys, and they cannot. Um, what I am going to do with the Arquebusiers is actually move them up here and try to shoot at the Karassiers. And sadly, I cannot shoot. Probably should have checked that beforehand, but uh, I am a grip. I make mistakes. What can I say? Uh, we are going to charge into these guys, despite the fact that we are actually at a disadvantage on the attack, uh, just because I want to basically stop up this whole right flank. 
uh, and hopefully continue to harass the enemy. So let's see, the third finish Hakapaleta cannot do anything right now, uh, but I think what I can do is I'm going to move up, or I could actually just charge at these pursuers, uh, but mm, I'm not sure if I should do that. I'm going to do it. We're going to charge, flank attack, of course the enemy's going to rout, um, and both our men are going to chase them, striking down quite a few of them. Uh, we've also got this unit here. Hopefully he will reform this turn. And let's see, do we have any more cavalry? Sadly, we don't. We've just got what we're working with here. Uh, I'm going to see if our cannons can fire at some of the enemy cavalry here, the, veter the veteran horse especially, because those guys are pretty nasty. And what I am going to do is probably fill up this gap with my spearman unit, or excuse me, my pike and shot unit. Then again, I kind of want to face this way, but I just don't think that would be uh, the best move tactically. So we're going to go ahead and open up on the veteran horse. Uh, what about our Swedish salvo? We'll go ahead and open up on the same horse unit, uh, and we will put this pike and shot unit right here, and we're going to go ahead and turn him to face the enemy. Let's go ahead and open up at this guy. Wow, 19 down. And if we can decimate these squads here, we're going to be at a bit of an advantage. Um, so let's go ahead. We're going to keep opening fire. We're just trying to soften these guys up. That's the name of the game. And unfortunately, they're softening us up a lot better at this moment. Uh, let's go ahead and turn towards them. Boom. All right. Those command and shot are obviously not in a great position, but not much we can do there. What we can do is charge. However, if we charge, we're going to be breaking the line. And I'm not going to break the line until I absolutely have to. Uh, because, like I said, we have fewer men than the enemy here. We want to do as much damage as possible to them uh, before having to get into, you know, close quarters combat with them. Let's go ahead. We'll focus on this guy here. 16 down. He's got some nice cover there behind those bushes, and believe me, they do provide cover. Pretty good cover at that. 40! Right there, they didn't seem to provide very good cover, and that certainly works out in our favor. We're going to keep firing at that guy. Again, we want to make one of these units fall back. If that happens, uh, the rest of the units are going to lose heart. So let's go ahead. Fortunately, we can't hit this guy. Uh, can we charge and hit this guy? I don't know. We could possibly charge here. Ooh, this is a really... I'm thinking I might try a charge, guys. Um, if anything, I'll at least start moving this Spearman into formation uh, to defend this flank. But you know what? I think I'm going to go for it. Uh, we're going to go ahead and charge into the enemy here. This is a pretty crazy uh, choice, but... And yeah, we lost a lot of men there, um, 31, but we still, um, you know, we still managed to get into contact there. Uh, let's go ahead and move this commanded shot unit up. We're going to go ahead and turn him towards the enemy, of course. And this way, we can still open fire on the enemy. Uh, and we're also still holding our position on the line here. Not sure if that was the best idea of mine, but, you know, you don't always make the best ideas in Pike and Shot. And sure enough, we can open fire on this guy, too. We'll definitely do that. Let's see what's going on in the right flank. Still not much over here. Now the left. This is the real, real point of contention. Um, because the enemy breaks through here, we lose. One thing I'm going to do, move up my second Dragoons, first of all. I will turn towards the enemy. I'm going to open fire on the light hussars, and I can't believe they missed. Unbelievable. Um, and it looks like our commanded shot cannot open fire. Has he already shot? Maybe he has. Let's grab this 14th horse. We're going to go ahead and turn towards the enemy. And unfortunately, we cannot charge, but we are going to get him into position. Pretty sure this left flank is going to break down, and that's not a good thing. But let's go ahead and end our turn uh, and hope that God is merciful, of course. As uh, Gustavus Adolphus said, God is my shield. I certainly hope he's a good shield, because right now we need him badly. Um, nonetheless, like I said, if we can't win, we're going to try to take out as much of the enemy as possible. One awesome thing about pike and shot campaigns is the fact that you can actually damage an army, and it makes it, them take longer to actually take a region, which gives you time to build up your army. Uh, there we go. Very indecisive fight still on the right side, but the enemy absolutely has the advantage despite our awesome flanking maneuver. They spotted it, and sure enough, there we go. We've got one of our units fragmented. It's going to definitely break off soon. It looks like our pike and shot units there in the center are fighting pretty bravely uh, and not giving up much ground. So maybe that was a good idea, and maybe we should go ahead and get into a serious fight. Of course, the enemy Karassiers are cutting our men to shreds. Um, it's an exceptional cavalry unit. They're very good at close combat fighting, and they're especially good at fighting other cavalry units. Uh, so they're doing very good there. All right. Commanded shot. Fragmented once again. Uh, and yes, we've routed one of the units off the field. That's awesome. Maybe we can put those cavalry back um, and bring them to the fight. Look how many men are falling in this pike and shot uh, unit here. And it looks like the enemy is charging our lines. That's exactly what I want them to do. I want them to charge our lines. 
uh, and see if our lines can hold out against the enemy. We could also go ahead and charge this cannon, which will make it break automatically, uh, since they are a cannon unit, but I'm not sure that's a good idea, because then our men are going to be trapped between three of their pike and shot units. We'll think about it. All right, a lot of great shots here by the enemy, I must admit. Uh, incredibly, our men on the left side seem to be slightly holding up, um, and it looks like they're actually changing out their horsemen here. Uh, the ones that are wounded, they're pulling back, and they're putting another group of horsemen in front of them uh, to sort of refresh their lines, which is a pretty good tactic, I must say. All right, residual shooting phase. This is where I really want things to go well for us. Boom, 20. I mean, we're getting great shots there. 12, 10, 0 again. I mean, come on. Our, we should be shooting better than that. I'm really upset with them. Um, and it looks like one of our guys just got disrupted. He just got scared. He just suddenly realized, these units suddenly realized, we're in a serious battle here. This is not good. Um, that's quite unfortunate. But uh, he did hold, so that's good. And there we go. Still indecisive on the left flank. This right flank is going to break soon. And sure enough, there we go. We broke. And this is where we may very well lose the battle. The enemy's going to be getting behind us. They're going to disrupt us. Um, and the only way we can really claim a victory is if we somehow manage to win in the center. Uh, which I think there is a chance for. I am not giving up hope entirely. But I would say right now it's about 65 enemy um, and 35 us. Uh, there we go, our unit one. We made a nice little commanded shot unit break. But again, they don't really concern me too much. Um, I'd rather take out one of their cavalry units. And there we go, they broke another one of our units. I mean, they are cutting through our cavalry, and that's not good at all. Um, there we go, the enemy unit one once again. I'm amazed at this actual cavalry unit, the uh, Finnish Hakkabaleta, has withstood so much damage. It really shows their resilience and bravery. Um, I mean, they've absolutely withstood massive charges. And once again, the enemy breaking through our cavalry there. Another cavalry unit disrupted. Uh, and this is really where the enemy is going to get major kills and possibly beat us entirely. The unit is broken off from close combat. We're now down to 20% Swedish troops routed. Um, and once we get to 40%, sadly, the battle is over for us. Um, so I'm going to go ahead. Kind of thinking about charging, but I think opening fire is probably a better idea. We just disrupted the unit with the open fire maneuver. We'll open fire again. Auto break, beautiful. So we did auto break one of the units. We disrupted the rest of these uh, pike units. I'm going to keep opening fire on them and seeing if we can get them to run off entirely. There we go, fragmented. Oh, come on, give us a nice little break, please. This would actually help us tremendously. Um, I'm even going to move out of formation just to get a better shot at this guy. 11, still nothing. I mean, this guy, you've got to go down, man. Sadly, he's not going to go down. Um, one thing I am going to do, I will turn towards the enemy. Uh, and I was going to try to shoot at them. Sadly, it doesn't look like we can shoot at them. Uh, let's see if our cannons have any powder left in them. Oh, they can't reach. Too bad. All right, well, we'll at least fire at this guy or one of these guys close by. Let's see. Let's fire at this cavalry unit. Six down. Not bad. I'll take that any day. And yes, we can fire. Come on, cannon. Seven. Still no auto break. That's too bad. Maybe we'll get lucky next turn. I'm not sure. Um, anyway, guys, I hope you are enjoying the campaign, of course. Uh, we will be continuing in the next part of the battle. And if you guys want to share your thoughts on what we should do, what we can do, uh, not much, apparently. Uh, but if you have any ideas, let me know, and we will absolutely take it into account. We're going to go ahead and turn here towards our enemy and try to fa face these light hussars in battle eventually. Uh, but the battle continues, and we are not giving up yet. The forces of Gustavus Adolphus remain strong. So don't worry, guys. Don't forget to hit that like button. Share these, this video. Um, excuse me. Share this video if you uh, know somebody that would possibly enjoy this sort of thing. And uh, just to wrap things up, I'll go ahead and why not? I'll do a charge into this pike and shot unit. Uh, try and get a route. And uh, make sure to leave those comments down below once again. Thank you guys. Take care. Have an awesome, 